morning, Preacher John here in Boulder, Colorado. We're at uh, 30th and Arapaho in the bright sun. You can see the bright sun. It is very sunny today. About 50 degrees or so. It's a Tuesday, about five minutes to 12, 10 minutes to 12, something like that, quarter to 12 I got here. <clears throat> Uh, went a different way of my walk, so it seemed to be a little faster than normal. As uh, most of my locations are about a 30-minute walk at a good clip, which makes it about a mile and a half to two miles to the location. <clears throat> then a mile and a half, two miles back, <laughs> and I do that six days a week. And I do ride the bus, but I walk to the bus stop too. So, uh, anyways. I had an interesting experience uh, on my way here today. I know it sounds like a joke I'm going to tell, but it's not a joke. Uh, a lot of people don't take it serious, but it's been bothering me for... I mean, it seems like it's been bothering me since I was in the 20s. Uh, somehow or another, happened, something happened to me in my mid-20s, around 25-ish, that uh, made me realize that uh, I was important. Before 25, I don't ever know if I ever thought that before. And uh, not sure exactly what happened at 25. I got married at 25, but that's not what caused me to think I was important. I had my first child when I was 26 and a half, 27, 27, I guess. And uh, that wasn't it either. But something happened to me at 25. And I think what happened to me was I got around people. God bless you, man. I got around people who valued their life on earth <clears throat> they served god with all their heart soul mind and body and they believed that they were valuable to god because god died on the cross for them therefore they believed that uh, uh they were important i've never heard that in the catholic church <clears throat> i've never heard that in any place because i was raised catholic and i was in the catholic church till i was about uh, about 25 uh somewhere in that area is when i left the catholic church and I went to the Assemblies of God. Uh, before the Assemblies of God, I began attending a, a Church of the Nazarene, and I was also attending, prior to that, attending a, uh, a, uh, uh, a Mennonite-type uh, uh, Friends Church. What is that? Uh, Pilgrim? Uh, I don't Mennonite. I can't remember exactly. God, excuse me for a second, guys. i got to move this out of there. There you go. Sorry. I had to move that uh, notice out of the way of my phone. Uh, but anyways, when I was 25, I got around some people wind, that believed that they were important. And for some reason, that woke me up. That woke me up. Now, I was already a Christian. I'd been a Christian for five years at 25. But I didn't believe I was important. Nobody ever talked about uh, the value of, of, of mankind. It just was not anything that I remember. <clears throat> I mean, it could have been, but uh, I don't remember it. <clears throat> and so I'm 67, so since I was 25, I've always considered me important. And because I've considered myself important, I consider every single, every, every other person important. I don't care who they are, or what they do, or what they say to me, I still consider them to be important because I believe mankind to be important. I believe it to be more important than a dog or a cat. I believe it to be more important than my car or my house. I believe it to be the most important creature on the planet. I believe mankind is the most important on planet Earth. There's none more important. Why would I say that? Why, why would I say that? Is that because I'm egotistical? No, it's because of what the Bible says. The Bible says that God made man in his own image and after his own likeness or something like that and when we're made in god's image and after his likeness god considers himself important god made all this that we see not for the dogs and the cats or the horses or the future automobiles or the future homes god made everything you see for mankind to enjoy that means that 
God values mankind so highly that he came to earth and manifest himself in a body. He didn't come in a dog and a horse or a giraffe and die on the cross as a giraffe. Sorry. Nor did he come as a your family pet and then the, they hung the pet on the cross. That, that's not it. I know a lot of people think that uh, their pet is the most important on earth and that's how, anyways, I'm not going to get there. So my question has always been, why do people say good morning to me when I say good morning to them? Why don't people say hello when I say hello to them? Why, do, why don't people nod when I nod back to them? Why, when I acknowledge people, why don't people acknowledge me? That's been a question since I was 25 years old. Because at 25, I began acknowledging every single person in some form or fashion, letting them know how important they are. I don't acknowledge a dog. I can care less about a dog. I can care less about the cat. If there's a person by, I'm going to acknowledge the, the person, not the dog. The dog's not important. The cat's not important. They're, they're nobody. They're just a, they're flesh, they're a flesh robot. There's no spirit in a dog. There's no spirit in a cat. There's no spirit in a bird. I don't care what the Native, uh, Native Americans say about the spirit of the eagle and the spirit in the wolf and the spirit in the coyote. That's all lies. Those are all devils they're talking about. When you're talking about a devil, that means people aren't important. When people aren't important, uh, the devil becomes important in your life because the devil hates God's people. God's people is every single creature, uh, mankind, male and female. Man is male and female. So Satan hates all of God's creation, not just man, male and female. Satan hates everything that God is absolutely he just hates everything so when people are important God bless you man just doing a little video here yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's okay cool <laughs> you're doing great you see so right there I acknowledged her and I acknowledge the other guy and when people drive driving by I don't uh, ignore people because I'm doing a video as you see me in all the videos, when someone hawks, I stop on the video and I say, God bless you, man. Or I say, you know, I do something to acknowledge another person. I'm an example. I'm an example. And I pray with all my heart that people see me as an example, to witness, to acknowledge every person. Don't ignore anybody. If you're on the phone and somebody walks by, you know, you don't have to get off the phone. You don't have to chit chat with them. You don't have to give them a hug or a kiss. You know, you don't have to, you know, God bless you, man. <laughs> you see, that's what you do. You acknowledge everybody. If they acknowledge you, you acknowledge them back. I'm acknowledging all these souls are going by by lifting a banner and by interceding for them. But, you know, that's as far as I can acknowledge them because if I go any further, then I offend them. So this morning, so going back to this morning's problem I had. So I walk out of my door and a lady walks down and gets her mail and uh, I say, good morning. She ignores me. And I said, I said, good morning. I thought maybe she didn't hear me. I know she heard me and she ignores me and she turns her back on me. And I said, isn't it, isn't it important to say good morning to somebody when they say good morning? Isn't it important? And I'm saying this out loud about five feet from behind her. Isn't it important to, to acknowledge somebody when they say hello or good morning? Isn't it important? Aren't people important to say good morning to when they say when they venture out to say good morning to you? She turns around and says, I'm on the phone. I didn't know she's on. How was I supposed to know she's on the phone? Now I shouldn't have been saying any of that. That's my fault. I I I accept her rebuke. I shouldn't have said any of that. I should have kept it to myself. But it makes me angry, and that's where I sin. So I angered and I sinned. I sinned. That's a sin. I angered and I made her mad at me. She, but I didn't hear any, I didn't see any earbuds in her, in her ears. I didn't see a, a phone in her hand. I didn't see uh, anything to indicate that she's on the phone. If somebody's on the phone, I'm not gonna talk to them. I'm not stupid. I'll just kind of nod my head, you know? But she wasn't talking, no earbuds in her ears, no phone in her hand, no indication whatsoever that she was on the telephone. You know, I, no clue, I have none, zero. In most cases, people have earbuds in. 
you know, they're talking or they're listening, but you know, if they, but, but I don't know, you know, or they've got a phone in their hand, you know, she's had a set of tights on. So where would the phone be up in her apartment? I mean, I don't know. So I made a mistake. I sinned. I violated her freedom because I disrespected her. I disrespected her. And my deal is to respect everybody, no matter what. And so next time I see her, I have to apologize to her. I can't ignore it. So I pray. So I'm going to begin praying now that God provides an opportunity so I can apologize to her because I offended her. I offended her because I didn't respect her. I mean, you know, I, I just should have said good morning and left it at that. But not saying good morning back to me has always angered me. So I'm walking and I'm, God bless you, man. So I'm walking here trying to figure out why did I get so angry? Why do I get so angry nearly every week? Because I walk every day, six days a week. Most people never see anybody. You know, they go, they get in their car, they go to their job or their business. And, uh, you know, they see the same people all the time. Well, I see brand new people every single day of my life. Brand new people. Because I've traveled all my life. So I've always been out in the public arena, always. I've always been traveling. I've been traveling since I was about 14, uh, 14 and a half, 15 years old, I've been traveling. And even before then, but, uh, but I've been fully traveling since I was about 14 and a half or 15, maybe 15 and a half, uh, somewhere in there, 15. Uh, so I've been in the public eye since then, all the time. I've never had a regular job, I've never done anything like that, so, uh, all right, man, God bless you. A little video here, God bless you. <laughs> All right, so you acknowledge people. He acknowledged me, so that makes them feel like, okay, so here's the, re here's the deal. The reason why people do not acknowledge you is they believe they are not important. When somebody doesn't believe that, when somebody doesn't believe that they're important, they're not gonna acknowledge you. God bless you. They're, they're not gonna acknowledge you. So when, when, the, when he's like, I just acknowledge you, I just, God bless you, you know. So I believe I'm important, therefore I acknowledge other people because I believe everybody is important. Everybody's important. I don't care who they are, what they're doing, they're important. They're important because God died on the cross for them personally, for their salvation. <laughs> so why would I say they're not important when God says they're important? Why would I disagree with God like so many, 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 many Christians do? They constantly tell God no. I mean, man, oh man. I mean, I know what it's like because I did the same thing, but we need to stop that. That's why I am so hot on these topics because I'm trying to get people to wake up. I'm on the last end of my life. This is the last season of my life. So I'm really pouring my heart out because this is it for me. This is it. These videos, these banner preaching, this church, everything I'm doing, this is it. I, I'm on the last tail of my life. See, because I have wisdom. I know the timeline of my, I know the number of my days. So that's why I'm, I'm giving it all my, I'm giving it all. I'm giving it all. I'm not hanging on to my life. I'm not buying a new house at 67 years old. I mean, that's stupid. Not buying a new car at 67 years old. I mean, my goodness, <laughs> you know, I'm pouring my heart out, pouring my financing out, I'm pouring everything I've got into this. I'm giving it, oh my goodness, I, anyways. Um, but I believe I'm important. Therefore, I say to people, good morning. When people don't say good morning back, people don't acknowledge you, they believe that they are not important. They may exercise, they may look pretty, they may look nice clothes, they may drive a nice car, but if they don't acknowledge you, down inside them, they believe that they are not important. They're not important. It's a big topic, man. It's a big topic. It's a big topic. So somehow we have to realize that we're important. And when we're important, we will acknowledge other people. And when we acknowledge other people, we'll begin to witness and to testify and to tell our story and to witness and to preach and to minister. But if you don't believe you're important, if you do not, as a Christian, as a believer, believe that you're important, you will not tell another soul about Jesus. You won't, because you don't feel like you're important. So we're gonna be talking about that over the next several days and weeks and months.
getting people to understand how important you are. And uh, <laughs> how about that? So I'm sorry these messages are so uh, heavy. But, you know, if you don't like them, you know, just tune me out, you know. Uh, pray for me, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, but the, I got to do what I know I got to do. I This is me. This is the ministry that God put me on, and I'm doing what I can. I'm trying, not trying to be phony. I'm being real. This is who I am in real life, too. I talk this way. I don't chit-chat with people. I'm a real person on this video, too. What you see on this, this uh, channel is what you see in real life. <laughs> life <laughs> I'm a real life person <laughs> yeah so Lord I just thank you for helping people see how important they are to come to the understanding how important they are to come to the wisdom of how important they are and to come to the knowledge of how important they are so they can turn around and give that importance to every single person in their life no matter who they are in Jesus name all right man God bless you I hope, uh, I hope, uh, I hope, <laughs> I just hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> All right, man, God bless you, I love you, man. God bless you, bye-bye.